Tim Hutchison from GemOnLight.com. Yes, of course. And Chris has agreed to sit down with us and have a little chat with some fellow lighting dorks. So, thanks for being with us. Chris. <laughs> I'm a lighting dork too. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So you've been enjoying the LED stuff you've thrown in? I have. I mean, yeah. we really wanted to go down that route. It's uh, interestingly enough, it's a completely different animal. So, uh, you know, last night it was just kind of learning how to control those things and do the things I want them to do. We've, sure. we've made several modifications to how we run them. We've put uh, some really interesting uh, curves on our faders on the Grand MA. Interesting. Uh, currently they are the fader, I'm trying to run them like par cans half the time. Gotcha. So the way the fader has been set up currently is zero to 50% of the fader, fader halfway up is only 10% of the LED. So I've given myself a curve. Because you know how they just pop on? Yeah, sure. We, we, want, we want to try to simulate and be able to fade them like bars. So we've put that kind of curve on the fader. Wow. We have the intensity and the color on the fader as well. So the intensity is that curve that I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Now. And then the color, we've added a one second fade time to the color. So that when I'm I'm blending the same elations to two different colors. It doesn't just pop to yellow from magenta as I begin the two fader curve. Gotcha. So put a one second so it simulates a fade to color sure. when the same fixtures are changing color, but I'm trying to make it fade equal. Gotcha. <laughs> You're among programmer nerds. I'm a hog guy, right. but obviously the MA is where it seems to be at lately. Right. So we've had to go pretty deep in how, how we approach getting those to react the way we Right on. They're very, very sensitive fixtures. Nice. Yeah. But we're very happy with them. I thought they looked great last night. Oh, absolutely. Um, as, as far as timing goes, now I can, you know, the, the lag time you get with a park cam, I mean, these just snap. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're, we're getting used to that. I'm sure. used to hitting the bump button a hair early so the pars have time to warm up. Yeah. So I catch myself being a hair early, and these actually are a hair early. <laughs> you know, okay, wait a minute. You gotta be right on the button now. So. Totally throw your timing off, or does it keep it pretty? No, consistent? I mean now I can now I can have more true timing as opposed to having second guess the fixture to be right with what right. the doing. How much tech time did you have with all this? Well, I've been working on this for about five months straight. Oh, yeah? um, Excellent. You know, starting from the drawing process mm -hmm. to choosing fixtures. Uh, you know, we're very very sensitive about what we need our fixtures to do. These Mac 3s actually aren't doing the things we really want them to do, but we're awaiting some software updates for June, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get them a little more reactive to the way we like to do things. Currently, I can't put a fade time on the gobo wheel, so I have to write myself a punt around that. Mm -hmm. So when I do a five second cue look, and I want five seconds to the next look, I want that gobo wheel to spin in five seconds. I don't want, you don't, tell it to do anything it's going to go snap right. after one right. second snap after like three seconds and then snap at the fifth second if you're going three holes away at the wheel is that the same problem you had the all stars well the all stars were fluid ah yeah, gotcha but mac twos i had those those problems stuff like that so our punt is we put a snap time on the gobo wheel so if it's a five second cue we tell the gobo to snap to the gobo we want it 4.9 seconds so you get your movement and at the end, right when it settles, they'll pop in. Uh, right. you know? So once we get the software update, things will move a lot smoother. But currently, that's that's the way we have to do it to keep to keep it looking the way we want it to. Wow. And if you are if you're, are you going to be in there tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Certainly. you'll see that a okay. hundred times tonight. What I just so. No problem. So anyway, uh, yeah. So you know, we're, we're dealing. It's you know, it's learning how to deal with your bugs currently with all this new technology. So we're just finding, you know, right arounds to make everything behave the way we want it to behave. Sure. We're getting there. We've, we've done one show. It was very, uh, you know, it was very culminating in the sense of we put so much work into this to actually finally get to, to do it. You said five months, right? From the drawing process, and I've spent, you know, upstaging. Who I can't say enough about fantastic lighting company. <laughs> upstaging has been uh, holding our hand through this the whole time and nice. letting us come and do a bunch of previs over there. And they hung the rig for a week in their warehouse and oh, uh, nice. pulled down the crap out of it. Nice. It's been a, uh, it's just been 
the most valuable time spent. Wow. What previous software have you been using? Uh, I wound up on Martin Show Designer, mm -hmm. which wasn't working the way I wanted it to, but Martin sent us a quick software update for that, and we had it working pretty beautifully. That's cool. Um, ESP was available to us, but Jason from Nine Inch Nails was writing that show on ESP, so by default, we got given Show Designer. You know, and it's really six of one, half dozen <clears throat> of the other. They're all fine products, so sure. you know, they all get the job done. Have you ever done any work with uh, WYSIWYG or the cast guys? I have. Yeah. I've, you know, I mean, I've used WYSIWYG. I, I don't know the guys personally, but back when Creative Stage Lighting was our lighting company, sure. uh, WYSIWYG was the product that previous on. I go to there and spot it. I'm not partial, I'm not, I should rephrase that, I'm not impartial to any previous software, I think they're all pretty good, so, you know, as long as they get the job done, as long as when I slam that memory stick into that MA and have the full <laughs> rig, and it's close, I'm happy. So, sure. You know.